Whether you're a book nerd or a cheerleader, Crafty Hackers has got some clever ways to elevate your education. Here are a few awesome hacks to make over the summer so that you can start the school year ahead of the game. The last one definitely deserves an A+. New here? Don't forget to subscribe to Crafty Hackers to be the first to see our newest DIY projects and hacks. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. The file holder. With a few simple tweaks, this empty cereal box can become a file holder to help you stay organized. First, measure out an opening about a few inches from the side and four or five inches from the bottom on the opposite side. Make the same measurements and marks on the back. Draw a line connecting your measured marks. Grab the scissors. Cut the top flaps off the box first, then cut along the lines you marked. Cutting at the corners makes it easier for accuracy. We've got the functional part done. Now we need a little color. Take a roll of some eye-catching decorative paper, lay it out colorful side down, and trace the box with the pencil. When you're done tracing one side, tip the box over to the next side and keep tracing. Cut along your trace lines. It should look like this. When you're gluing paper, it's best to use a paintbrush to spread the glue so you don't get any globs or weird bubbles. Attach the decorative paper. Use a card to smooth it out onto the next side. And the next, until you've added a pop of color to your entire file holder. Let's make some pen and pencil holders. Take some white straws and measure the length of the pen. Cut the extra length off the straw and use it as a guide to measure the other straws. You'll need some large binder clips for this part. Hot glue the inside of one side of the straw and clamp it shut with your binder clip. Repeat, after the glue hardens, you can take the clips off. Trim the sharp edges. Now, hot glue your new pen holders to your new file holder. Organize your homework in a colorful holder where you've always got a pen handy. The pencil case notebook. Here's a cool trick. Take your notebook and loosen the wire binding. Remove the back and place it on top of your pencil pouch. Mark all the holes onto the case with a marker. Now use a box cutter or X-Acto knife to cut holes into the pencil case along the dots you made. Use a piece of cork underneath to make it easier to poke through. After you've attached the back of the notebook, thread the binder through the new holes in the case inside the back of the notebook. Bend the wire binding closed. Now you can easily carry everything you need with your new notebook. Pretty smart. The Blackboard Notebook Hack. This is a super fun trick. First, take your notebook and some black acrylic paint. Paint the front of the notebook black. After it dries, get some colored chalk. Label your notebook in fun colors. Add any design you want. Change it any time just by wiping the notebook clean with a damp cloth. Have a new notebook designed for every day of the week. The push pin keeper. It's so easy to lose push pins. Use a silicone mold in your favorite shape. Grease the mold with some heavy cream or butter. Brush it around evenly with a paintbrush. Now add enough hot glue to cover the bottom of the mold. Time for a bit of sparkle. Add another layer of hot glue to seal in your confetti. After the glue hardens, it should pop right out of the mold. Remove any residue with a cloth. Let's test it out. Works like a charm. The felt pencil case. We found yet another use for the cardboard at the end of the paper towel roll. Start with two pieces of colorful felt and a zipper. Draw a straight line on one side of the roll and cut it open. Measure and cut it to fit the zipper. Use hot glue to attach the zipper to the cardboard. Using chalk or a pen, mark two circles on your first piece of felt, the same size as the openings of the cardboard. Attach the felt to the openings with hot glue. Measure your second color of felt to fit the case and hot glue it on. Add more hot glue every inch or so until the whole piece is attached. Now you've got a unique felt pencil case for when that cute guy asks you for a pencil. Schedule markers. Here's a trick to keep you on top of your schedule. You'll need masking tape and colored highlighters. 
assign an activity to each color highlighter. Tape on your label so you don't forget which is which. Highlight each part of your schedule with the color that correlates with your activity. Now you can see at a quick glance which class you're running to next. The rainbow marker. It's time to have a little fun. Grab four different colored markers, hold the tips of two markers together for 20 seconds. Do the same thing with a new color, hold for 15 seconds. Now pick a new color and hold it to your base marker for five seconds. Now you've got a rainbow marker. Do it again with a different base color. Explore different color combinations and get artistic. How cool is that? Falling asleep in class is the worst. So give yourself a boost with this DIY energy drink. Just grab an orange, coconut water, and soy milk. Cut and peel half of your orange. Get your coconut water and soy milk ready. Put the orange slices into your blender with half a cup of coconut water and half a cup of soy milk. Blend it together. And enjoy! Here's another great energy drink for those long study sessions. Matcha is packed with antioxidants and it boosts your metabolism. First, roll a lime to get the most juice out of it and cut it in half. Now mix your matcha powder, two tablespoons of honey, and a glass of water to your blender. Squeeze in your lime juice. and blend it all together. Perfect for a quick power up before school. School supply case. Grab a plastic container and mark it into sections with the highlighter. Measure out a piece of felt to fit. Hot glue the felt divider inside the container. Add your smaller piece, making sure it fits before you glue it. It's pretty sturdy. Now you can organize your pens, erasers, and other essentials effortlessly. No more digging in the bottom of your book bag for a pen. X-Acto knife. Here's a way to make your own X-Acto knife with binder clips and a pencil sharpener. First, unscrew the blade from the sharpener. Now, hot glue the dull end of the blade inside a binder clip. When it dries, you'll have an X-Acto knife so you can cut with precision. Simple! The sponge stamp. All you need for this is an ordinary kitchen sponge. Use a pencil to trace a design into the sponge. Cut around your shape with an X-Acto knife. Carefully remove the outside pieces. Now that you've designed your stamp, let's try it out with some paint. That looks awesome. Eraser stamp. Did you know you could also make a stamp with an eraser? It's easy. Just draw your design on the eraser and carve it out with your X-Acto knife. Cut and remove the outside pieces, just like you did with the sponge. All right, let's do a test run. Put some paint into a smaller dish. Dab your new stamp in the paint and decorate your notebook with your one-of-a-kind stamp. Folder case. You know those inexpensive folders at the dollar store? You can turn one into a pencil case in two easy steps. First, cut the bottom half of the folder. Now grab some double-sided tape and tape the bottom together. Instant pencil case. DIY circle guide. It's hard to draw a perfect circle by hand. Here's an easy way to make them look perfect. Just take a roll of tape, a marker, and a pen. Anchor the tape with the marker and use the tape roll as your circle guide. That's a total no-brainer.
which school hack will you use the most? Let us know in the comments and feel free to share your own tricks for a successful semester. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. We'll see you next time.